Daphne. Trap Tendo. Trap Tendo. What's up, guys? So this is a tips and tricks video on how to get your 808s to be sound very, very way more stronger. Um, no, for real. I'm gonna show you how to not only pick out the right 808 for the job, how to tune your 808s to your melody, how to make interesting patterns, and how to mix them so you can get a really good effective 808. So let's go. Okay, so everything that I'm gonna use in this video, I will have in the description box, or I will have a card at the top right part of the screen. So just pay attention to that, and you know it will lead you to the right direction. So I'm gonna start off by laying my melody. That's the first thing I do. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay out the I'm gonna lay out the kicks. You do want to use like a kick that ha is clean as possible if you really want that clean, uh, nice trap uh, type vibe. All right, so the next obvious thing is picking out the right 808 for the job. So with this, uh, I have a free pack. It's called Boomerai 808s. It has a ton of different 808s. But I'm going to use this Rockstar 808. I already have it in here. So the 808, another tip is you want to use 808s that are tuned to C and nothing else, please. So how do you check that? Uh, NFL Studio, you just go to uh, edit and it'll pull up Edison, which is a tool that you need to get to know. And then you will right click on the sample rate. Uh, from there, you can go to your sampler, auto detect, and then see what it is tuned to. And it is tuned to C. So, and now you can just, all you can do is just close your Edison out because you don't, you have no need for it. Uh, the next thing, of course, is laying out your 808s. I'm going to do is copy and paste the kicks that I just did into this area right here. I have like ghost notes right over here and you can see like all the stuff that I just laid out melody wise, but here's some other tips I want to show you. So how do you get that? Uh, in FL Studio 12.3 or higher, you have scale highlighting. So with this, I'm gonna go and select uh, D sharp because that is the key that I played. That's the first key of those chords and I'm gonna right click on it so it'll stay open. Now, the next thing I need to do is select a minor natural. So now you will have your piano roll uh, aligned with the melody that you just played. What I'm gonna do here is slide all those 808s to the D sharp. So it's in the D sharp minor. If you, if you pay attention to the dark lines, the dark lines mean that no, you don't need to use those dark lines. I play it now you can, you can see that it's a little stereo separated so that there, there's a tool a helpful tool here called like stereo separation and I can if you boost it to the left or turn it to the left it will make the 808 mono so you can go all this way of streaming it'll sound like this but if you still want a little bit of that stereo separation to that 808 you you could just dial it back a little bit attenuate it But now your 808s are tuned and then you have an 808 pattern, but it's still not interesting enough. Of course, the next thing you would do, move up your 808s and down and make different melodies. So. All right, so here's an interesting conflict that we have here now. Let's listen to this 808 and see what's going on. You need to do this, right click on your channel and make sure that each and every channel has its own cut group. Uh, so when you cut itself, I'm gonna play it now. You see it is not interrupting each other or overlapping. Very important that you do this to all of your other channels. Different time divisions are very important. Uh, now we're gonna go and we're gonna change time signatures. You have like triplets, if you choose like one, three beats, 
or you have crazier triplets if you choose like one and six you can use this paint tool over here to change the different ways that you lay out your 808s and paint the other 808s in there now we have a more interesting 808 here i actually kind of like i'm gonna go up a little higher in the octave so i'm gonna go ahead and drag this up now here, here's a bonus tip here on when you're creating your 808s for a track uh, you might want to check out some panning as well i've talked about this before and i really just want guys to understand that this is a pretty cool trick uh, definitely you want to go out here to controls and you want to go to like something like a uh, note pan and then pan your 808s <laughs> As promised, there are some tools. There's a different ways to make your 808s different from there. My personal favorite is e either Fruity Wave Shaper, Fruity Wave Shaper, which looks like this. Helps you with different distortions, of course. Thanks to FL Studio 20's uh, new update, you can parallel your effects. Or you can use uh, Blood Overdrive. So I'm gonna go ahead and parallel that and hear it. Okay, so this next part does involve like a third party VST and it's by Waves Audio. And it's definitely a must have to be honest. And it's called R Bass. So looking at R Bass or whatnot, it won't be apparent until I play it. And now I'm gonna play it with R Bass. So with our bass, what it does is it's a compressor. So controlling your 808s is a great way to make your track stand out. Slowly raise it. You can sweep the frequencies and you can add more intensity. Adding more intensity will add different amounts of compression to it. And as a result, you can get more energy in your 808. Definitely a good mix down of the whole entire track will definitely help the 808. So uh, I'm, I'm going to go into this channel here because I do want more punch on my kicks. And then I'm going to balance everything else out until it sounds good enough. So yeah. So basically that's about it. Uh, leave a comment below tell me how you feel about this tutorial any suggestions and i will uh, do them in another video and also you know don't forget to subscribe and please hit that notification bell be a part of that notification, notification gang and i do appreciate y'all for your time again leave a comment below i'm dj av trap tendo <laughs>